Hey guys, today I just wanted to record a short video for you, letting you know how to use Ad Nauseam. Um, just before we get started though, I did want to let you know that I'll probably be moving away from a lot of the telephony stuff. Telephony? Telephony? The voice stuff, basically. Uh, PBX and all that. I did make my Unify guides and some of my free PBX stuff. Um, however, I did quickly realize that uh, a lot of the spoofing videos were being unlawfully used, we'll put it, um, and I'm not all for that, and as much as I would like to encourage learning and such, um, at this time I have suspended the video for how to spoof with free PBX. I will no longer be showing how to do that or a lot of illegal activities, um, and just to clarify that spoofing itself is not illegal, it is what you do with it, and the things that people were doing with it were very, very unlawful. Um, don't condone that, don't do it, and uh, yeah, if that's what you're looking for, please get the fuck off my channel. Anyways, um, today I want to talk to you guys about Ad Nauseam. Now, as you might know, I am very privacy oriented, I hate Windows for every fiber of my being, and uh, just proving it to you, I use Arch, um, but Ad Nauseam is a very powerful ad blocker in a way. Um, it does work with uBlock Origin under the hood, and it has a lot of magical features with it. So we'll get started. We'll go in here, add nausaem.io. Oh, no, it is. I. <laughs> okay. Ad nauseum. It is always hard to spell. N a u s e a m. Got it. Okay. So. Do that. Swear I passed English. There we go. Perfect. So as you can see here, Opera and Firefox have their own web stores, so you will not need to worry about this. Looks like Edge does as well, but your other Chrome-based browsers, such as Brave as you see here, do not normally have this installed. Um, and it's also not available as well since, like for example, if we go to Manage Extensions, we go to the web store, Brave does not have their own. So Chrome, Brave, and Chrome variants that do not have their own web store, you will need to manually install this, and that's what we're getting into. So we'll go ahead, install it, and it should show us our repository for Ad Nauseam here. So we'll go into our releases, download it. Now once you have Ad Nauseam installed, your next step is going to be making sure that you can extract it. So we'll go ahead nope, and extract, and we'll extract the archive here. Now this will make a new folder here, as you can see, which none of this you need to worry about or anything. It's fairly simple. So once you have that folder extracted, we're going to go ahead and minimize it, close out of this, and head back to extensions. Now within Brave, you'll see that we have developer mode available. Chrome should have the same option. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. After that, you're going to go on to Load Unpacked, aka Load Unpacked Extensions, and you're going to go Locate, which should be under our desktop, and then Ad Nauseam Guide and Ad Nauseam Chromium. Finally, that folder there. Select this folder, not any of the subfolders inside it, but the folder you extracted, and hit OK. Now what this will do is it will enable Ad Nauseam and Ad Nauseam will begin to set up. From here you can customize everything so it will hide all ads just like uBlock Origin does, but with Ad Nauseam it will also click on these ads, thus screwing with a lot of the ad networks, and it will block other malware and tracking URLs. Now I personally do not make exceptions for non-tracking ads. This is a personal preference because I'm not, I, I don't believe in a lot of the the modern day ad, whatever you want to call it, uh, marketing per se. So once it's ready, hit let's go. And Ad Nauseam should be available right here. Now with Brave and other browsers that do incorporate ad blocking, you may need to disable their ad blocking, which can be done through like global defaults on Brave. And then there it is, trackers and ads blocking, disable. You can keep your upgrades to connections to HTTPS, which I would recommend. Block fingerprinting can keep keep on all that fancy stuff. 
And after that, you can check it out in your latest form, such as, I believe it's Cherokee form it is. These guys have lots of ads, for example. I support them 100%, but as you can see here, Ad Nauseum is starting to count them. And once you get those ads in, you can see them all within your ad vault. So these are all the ads that Ad Nauseum has clicked on and detected, like that wonderful Grand Theft Auto ad, not free, whatever, but excellent ad blocker, excellent tool for your privacy, and best of all, keeps everything clean and detects majority of things. You will see things here and there that, you know, maybe they're an ad, maybe they're not, and you can always right click and then block element from there, create, and just like that. So, if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, whatever the hell you want to do. I don't care if you leave me hate mail. Um, <laughs> if you do have any questions, though, feel free to leave a comment. I will try and address those as soon as I can, and I will work on making more privacy-focused videos for y'all, um, hopefully coming out here soon. Thank you.